Hey, it's me, Tyler. I just got my bowl cut, and I'm really excited about my new bowl cut. <laughs> A lot of people think I'm crazy, but what they don't know is that uh, this authentic ethnic head wrap enables me to move, shuck and jive, and groove like an ethnic person. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. For the sake of argument, you come at me in a public situation, and I have to shoot through a crowd of people to defend myself. Self-defense situation? Bitch, I'm in jail. They've made him into a meme, which basically means the trolls own him now. A hoax that makes the rounds just about every time there's a mass shooting in the U.S. The gunman was a man named Sam Hyde. Many folks posting this photo of a blonde man holding a gun. Adult Swim has decided to part ways with Million Dollar Extreme, an alt-right affiliated show. Messages of hate, misogyny, anti-Semitism. You're being such a pussy right this now. This man is named Sam Hyde. Sam Hyde has been misattributed as the gunman. So if he's not the shooter, <laughs> who is Sam Hyde? <clears throat> what, do you have a list of questions? Yeah. What? You can't see them. You better not surprise me with anything. <laughs> You're gonna get hella surprised. You better not. What are you gonna do, I jobs? I wanna see the question. All right, go ahead. Well, my, ma my name is Gormedios, and I'm a 400-year-old vampire, but I actually appear to be 13, so. And uh, what, is your, uh, what is your career? What is your job? Interesting question. <laughs> We went to Rhode Island to film a documentary with Sam Hyde, who's known for right his here, comedy me. videos. You can do a lot of damage. I've been aware of Sam and his comedy for a long time, so I thought it'd be interesting to get to know more about Sam, uh, because not many people know much about him. He's a bit mysterious. He's a bit unwieldy. I'm just really hoping that this isn't going to be a struggle. You know, I, yeah, I, it's a different energy. It says, welcome to Massachusetts. <laughs> welcome to Massachusetts. Cool. I was definitely going into the whole thing like super nervous. You know, I didn't want to mess anything up because it really felt to me like there was a lot to mess up. I'm going into sort of a world that I don't understand at all. I know nothing about the guy really, other than what he chooses to put out there in the world. Wow. Hey, wow, I can't believe this is happening. I'm, I'm hating, I'm here for the like, documentary and stuff. Oh yeah? Yeah, Sam called oh. me and everything. Oh, awesome, good to meet you, man. Uh, yeah, so as we're going to the office, we run into like a random 19 year old guy who's like, oh hey, iDubs. I was like, well, I don't know who this is. This is very confusing. Turns out he was just a kid that Sam had hired to come film more parts of the documentary. So that already took me by surprise. Whoa. Hey. Yeah, I'm, I wish I had a, I have a car, but the battery's dead. So my grandfather's like fixing it up and everything. Okay. So. What's up? Just, uh, so I got the car. I have uh, three of them. Yeah? Yeah, well, uh, come on. Whoa. Hey, what's up? What's up? Yo, yo, yo. What a place. Nice. Did you guys knock before you open the door? Should I pat them? Or? Oh my god. Yeah. No, 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 no. Hey, guys. What the fuck? Welcome. What's up, buddy? So, when we got into Sam's office, uh, there were a lot of computers, a lot of people. Uh, the security guard, he was doing this whole routine, being very serious the whole time. It felt very tense. <laughs> What's that around your neck? Jaws are size? Jaws are size? Yeah. Is that like uh, mewing? Is that uh, like it was part of the, the mewing triad. Like when you look at Sam's videos, there's really no 
Uh, it doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of production value put into them. So I was a bit, I think, confused and put off by there being so many people in this room. I just didn't know what their role in anything was. So yeah, this is our, this is the, uh, we call it the master station. Yeah. yeah. Um, but this is where we get it done. Yeah. You guys aren't doing this every day, though. Yeah, every it doesn't day. look like this yeah, all the time. This is a show, right? What, what do you mean? The, the mess? Oh. Well, no, just all the people, all crammed. Like, what, 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 what are you working on? Yeah. Josh is, is I'm not a writer. writer. I'm the narrative yeah. director. So these guys are full time. Joe's my audio guy. Julian's my editor. Evan does 3D models. Weck is uh, security, obviously. Right, right, right. <laughs> Let's get some fresh air. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you don't care if you're docs or what? what? Oh, 385 Columbia Ave? Hey, stay away. <laughs> hey, get any cute girls out there. Don't be coming by 385 Columbia Ave. I'm shy. Uh, I, do, I really appreciate it, man. Yeah. Because you're obviously got a bigger viewership. Uh -huh. And it's like your brand, uh, you can't be messing around with people who are like unsafe. Yes. Like, what's he going to say? Is he going to talk about Hitler? <laughs> uh, listen, I'm not as racist as PewDiePie, okay? I'm not going to bring anything about Hitler. Um, I got to go. Let's go get my mechanic has to teach me how to top off my oil because I don't know how. And it has a uh, thing that I've never seen before. You're okay with going in the trunk? Bingo. Nice. starting to get the idea that you're sort of the guy that I hate in every major city. The one with the noise? Yeah. You don't like it? No, I don't think I like it. It feels like it feels like a lot is happening <laughs> for very little. <laughs> Have you ever been in a Tesla? A Tesla? What are they, fast? <laughs> a Tesla speed? Well, you got a Tesla motor. That's why it's so fast, it's got the Tesla motor. It's got the Tesla motor. Yeah, I don't have life insurance. I literally know what I'm doing. Like, I would never go past like 80% on public roads. Like an anime reference, 80% an power. Reference. I would never use my true power on the streets. I'm into it now, I sort of get it now. This thing's not registered. <laughs> when I was driving this thing here, it just shut off in the middle of the highway. Like it, st it stopped. Yeah. And I had to like t turn it back on while going. You know? That doesn't give you any sort of anxiety? You never have anxiety. Yeah. If you have anxiety, you're, you're dead. Next thing you know, you're dead. If you ever get anxiety, next thing that happens, you fucking die. Sounds a lot like my dad. I'm like, Dad, just say anxiety. Just say the word. He's like, no, that doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Your dad's a wise man. Did your dad use the word anxiety? Uh, no, my dad gives, uh, the advice that he gives comes after long reflections on alcoholism, and it's usually very depressing. He probably has, uh, not manic depression, but like cyclomania, like mild manic depression. He gets little manias and he gets depressed phases. Do you say you're a lot like your dad? Uh, chem chemically and biologically, yes, but I've uh, thankfully uh, been able to overcome a lot of his uh, problems. Pro probably because he was so open about them when I was a kid. Like, I've never had alcohol, I've never been drunk. I've been drunk, like, almost drunk, like, twice. That's, re that's true. Because both my parents were alcoholics and they told me, you know, they warned me about it and whatnot. I think it might help for the, uh, for the viewers. When you say something like that, if you're serious, yeah. you say 100% serious. 100% serious. <laughs> How about this, no, I'll say this, I'll say, baby, share me, serious. You fucking retard, so now you know. So you don't have to guess, because you're autistic. So you need a picture book guy to tell you when someone's in a mood. Here's an angry face. Arr, here's happy. Okay? Get your guidebooks out so you know when people are in different moods, you fucking retard. But yeah, I'll do that. I'll say baby Sammy serious. There has been times where I can't tell, you know? It's like uh, when you've talked about uh, women a lot of the time. Beating women! What a bitch. 
will do to you once she gets her claws in. I want this, I need this. You're gonna be the prettiest princess astronaut as soon as you grow a fucking brain, you dumb bitch. As if when you say that someone raped you, anyone's gonna believe you, you dumb bitch. Fuck off. That's man. mostly serious, yeah. yeah. I don't, I'm not. I'm not misogynistic. I don't like hate women, and there are women that I, I value like very highly, and I think are amazing. But uh, women are like super dangerous. Three ways that you're really super fucked up. One is women. Two is with uh, uh, being a bad driver. Three is with um, going to college, like making making life decisions based on somebody else's expectations and not like what you what's best for you. You know what I mean? Those are like the three big ones to really like turn yourself into a perk head and like fuck your shit up. Oh, and drug use too, but that's not, I just don't think about that because I haven't uh, had any it's experience not relevant with that. to you. Yeah, I haven't, I literally have never been high or anything. I'm gonna guess you're single right now. No, I got a girl. Yeah? Yeah. What's her name? Danny. You'll meet her, she's coming by. Now you'll see she's gorgeous when you meet her. Trust me, buddy. She's 100% real. Grade A and B. When you get a load of her pussy and her ass, you're gonna be squeezing your legs together and saying, Hail Mary, brother. This thing is so fucked. Can't believe we live. Fuck. Some of your eye Look at this. <laughs> this Home Depot metal swirl yeah. on the spoiler. That's nice. That makes you go faster. That's how you know a Laotian owned it. No racism. But this is a nice What is that? Day one, I was obviously on edge. Sam is a very unpredictable person, but I started to notice that he has patterns, uh, the way he talks about things. He'll say something very cryptic, and then he'll look at the camera as if the audience knows what he's talking about. What's Laotian? <laughs> La Laos is only one of the greatest countries in the world, and they have great taste, which is why the Laotians oh, put I this diamond pattern on here. Okay. Don't worry about it, though. A lot of Sam's comedy seems to be rooted in him trying to rile people up. Lena Dunham, you made threats against me, so now if I see you in person, I'm gonna be afraid for my safety. I'm gonna have to protect my life. In public, when I see you, Lena Dunham, I'm gonna knock your fucking head off. Just like that, bitch. It seems like he says things that are either taboo or just kind of edgy. Yeah, you know what, sweetie? You're gonna be an astronaut. Like a fucking retarded bitch dyke could ever do that. There have been many infamous Sam Hyde moments where he tries to harass or get the attention of people like Ethan Klein or Lena Dunham. I just got off text with um, Ethan from H3H3 and um, he said he was going to put up $5,000 because, you know, he like took yeah, some I mean, of my style and stuff and like, like, you know, got really popular doing his, he did his own thing, but he like took some of my like, humor. Most recently, he's trying to get Joe Rogan to fight him. If I hit Joe Rogan, he would instantly forget every piece of jujitsu knowledge. Joe, you'd know, you would know as much jujitsu as Marcella May Rogan after I hit you. You'd be goo goo gaga mode, okay? You'd be looking for some pampers. The list of things I wouldn't do to Joe in a fight, hmm, I wouldn't take no for an answer. Call me Joe. I'm assuming it's all just for exposure or he's trying to goad these people into embarrassing themselves. At least that's what I thought Sam was doing it for. I think it's, no, I don't think the point is to get them, to lure them into doing anything. I mm -hmm. think it's just part of the, the character. Yeah. But I've been trying to be, um, I've been consciously trying to be more, not necessarily less mean, but like more joyful. Mm -hmm. So if I do some, if I like say it's like, fuck you to somebody, I try to do it with like a spirit of like, yeah. uh, you know, joie de vivre. Another Sam Hydeism is that when he's being serious or genuine for too long, he will undercut it by saying the exact opposite of the point of view he was expressing before. It makes it very confusing to have a conversation with him and get his actual feelings about a particular topic. Um, like the Joe Rogan stuff, I think is like, it's really lighthearted, <laughs> even though I want to kill his, uh, it's probably some kind of self-awareness that Sam has where he realizes that in front of a camera, he needs to bring his brand of comedy out. This thing rips ass. But because so much of Sam defaults to sarcasm and irony, it was really hard to know if I was getting genuine responses to the serious questions I was asking. And you don't get uh, annoyed or bothered by the noise. You like it. Of the car? Yeah. Uh, it's, an, it's really annoying. Okay. But you put up with it because there's other 
benefits. Well, what do you want me to do? Freak out and start screaming? I could, I could stop putting up with it. <laughs> like a retard? I guess what I do. It's fine. I'd probably rather be in a rental Corolla right now. It would be, it would be uh, yeah. more comfortable. Okay. Are you supposed to uh, wear a mask at uh, the drive-through here? No, you just put your shirt over your face. Do you do that? What, this? Yeah. Yeah, why not? As opposed to what, putting a fucking mask on? Yeah, it's a little cringe, don't you think? What, covering your face with a t-shirt? Yeah. Put, you think putting a mask on is less cringe than covering yeah. your face with a t-shirt? Yeah. Dude. You gotta get out with of California. The mask? And then what do you guys want? Uh, two spicy deluxes as well. Two meals or sandwiches? Uh, let's do sandwiches. Two spicy deluxe sandwiches also. He just reported me for not having a mask. <laughs> you can take that mask off now. I like to pretend the Chick-fil-A girls are my own private harem. And they exist to serve. Take the mask off, Jesus Christ. They exist to serve me. <laughs> Who doesn't like the masks? I'm gonna get your input on a few things. Yeah. Yeah. When we get the, uh, when we get the back to the office, we'll go over the whiteboard. Good. Yeah. Actually, we do have to work out though, that's not a joke. Yeah. One of the few things I was actually looking forward to on day one was meeting Sam's girlfriend, Danny. Because, you know, if I was going to have a hard time breaking through Sam's comedy wall, I knew that Danny would be the solution to that. How long are you been together? Uh, like two and a half years, two years. Okay. She could give me honest, truthful answers to how Sam really is and all the other questions that I had. At least that's what I, I hoped would happen. Honestly, she kind of makes my life hell. You know, life isn't, what, horrible? Not horrible. I don't think you feel horrible. I do. You don't feel yes, horrible. Yes, I do. That's bullshit. No, it's not. It's fucked. Is it, is it it's one of It's uh, suffocating and I can't leave it because it's like a security blanket type thing. Security blanket for you? Yes. You like the security? Yes. This feeling that you're getting, it's like just added responsibility essentially about worrying about another person? Uh, no, no, we mean why it feels horrible? Yeah. Uh, no, because she's like a fucking mess. Oh. Interesting. Have you considered going to therapy? For myself? For you, I mean, you could contribute to her being a mess. What do I need therapy for? I could contribute to her being a mess? Are yeah. you kidding me? I can see no, your no, no, personality no, no, no. and how you no, interpret no. things. No, no. It's contributing to her being a mess, sure. Well, we'll see. You it, 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 it's part of the How about this? How about like this? You, play, you can be the counselor when we, when we okay. do meet her. Okay. You can dig into it. The counselor? We'll see. We'll see who's fault it is. Okay. That's Danny right there. Hi, honey. I'm just gonna stick a camera in her face immediately. That's my girlfriend that you're asking about. Hi. Please don't flirt with eye dubs. Okay. Hi. You're Danny? Yeah. You look anemic. But... Anemic? Yeah, a little bit. We look alike though. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I think we Let do me look see alike. The Yo, uh, Sam, people are already working on it. I thought you were bald. You no. Can go what? No, uh, oh, word. Why is your head so fucking big? Your I got a large cranium. It's uh, weird. It's part of my genes. Maybe you just have like a really large skull. I don't know. I don't know, have you like weighed your head? Uh, I have not weighed my head, no. So. Oh, well I haven't like weighed my head without the fluid in it in like a while, but yeah. Oh, um. The environment was very uh, uncomfortable as a whole. Talking with Sam, you know, he's he's very forward and he, he's got a big personality. The rest of the guys there were very... Yeah, dipped in Sherm. You want one, John? I'm good. Thanks, though. Weird. The whole environment was weird. Oh. But when it came to Danny, it was just sad. Um, 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 okay, so yeah. If you just, like, stop smoking, your blood pressure goes, like... All the way down, can't you like give her up, you know? Like, mm -hmm. boys just stop uh, falling and you guy. <laughs> I really didn't know how to feel. I would say that the rest of the guys made me medium level uncomfortable. Danny made me extremely uncomfortable. I have more. You want to see my tattoos? I feel like a dog sitting on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, I feel irresponsible just like talking to her. It felt like we need to get her help or something. I'm basically Yeah. Same height, we're the same height. That's true. I thought it was going to be a lot colder here. It is very cold. 
Yeah, it's not too bad. What color is it? Uh, it'll be brown, I think. No, that's like yellow. Green? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you might be right. I thought y'all got in a wreck. I was checking the police scanner. No. Dan, can you stop trying to fuck eye dubs? All right, uh, so. What's this whiteboard all about? Um, you guys want to go over our team meeting? Team meeting. We do have to find the next big idea. Yeah. Okay, because right now things are on the decline. Things are not going that well. We have to find a big idea, whether that's like a viral video to get me back on top. I said like we could do something like TikTok related. Like Start like, doing TikTok videos? Literally or do like just anything on TikTok. Like, like a, a dude dancing, like just you <laughs> flossing, that'd be so funny. Just some that's dumb cool. shit like that. That's a really good idea. So, my name is Yeshua Ronov. I go by Joshua. Ooh, whoa. Okay, let's get you more. Yeah, just grab me some paper towels. My mom always told me to keep my head back, but like that shit doesn't work. So I, I'm 21, freelance graphic designer. Uh, I'm a writer for Sam. Like, whatever he needs me to write, like, he'll send me a prompt and I'll just, like, write it. Alright, so flossing video? Yeah. Or, like, uh, like, I don't know, Among Us is popular. Right? Among Us? Some shit like that, yeah. Yeah, like, Reddit yeah. sus. On Among Us Muck That would be so funny. Yeah. Among Us Muck Bang. The Reddit yeah. sus. I saw, well, a lot yeah. of people, like, the Among Us stuff, I think a lot of people are doing that, though. I am Jed Neptune. That is my name. I am 22. <laughs> Dude, every time I, I'm asked, I forget how old I am. I edit video primarily. And I'm also crypto strategist for Sam. Have you have you made any money with that? Yeah, I made mad money. <laughs> did you really make mad money? <laughs> yeah. What did you buy? Uh, this Chinese Kami fucking coin. It was pretty sick. It's illegal to buy. Can you edit this out? I'm into Cardano, XRP, stuff like that. I won't bore you with coins, but um, we're we're pretty into the crypto world. Like if you've ever seen Sam's Twitter. He's constantly on that. And I basically put him on to all that stuff. But I did get that play from the crypto training, so I don't think it should be on things to spend less on because it's been right. making us money. I mean, Julian lost a lot of money on that, but. I'm not gonna snitch, up. but Julian did spend $110 on skins. On Fortnite? Yeah. Julian. He's busy, don't mess with him. He's making genius happen. You can call me Bic, I guess, for the purposes of this. Age, 23. I guess you could say, kind of do a little bit of everything. Editing. But I'll like shoot stuff. I'll you know like you know help write and like direct and stuff too. Whose idea was weed vape? That was my idea, but it wasn't. It's a, a bad idea. idea. Yeah, it's what a was really the... bad idea. What? Being okay. too high isn't that fun. Funny, but I just don't want to do that. Okay, weed vape is off. That's not yeah. funny. Mr. Sam, sorry to interrupt you. I'm gonna check all the entrances. All right, go back. Wait, let me know if we're clear to use this door at some point. Right, right. it's locked now, but I'll let you know. All right, all right. Okay, my name is Weck. I'm 32 and my job is security. He just wants to make sure that everything's safe around like the work area. And this is a serious thing, it's not a joke. What is? The, uh, the no, I'm, a, I'm actually security for Sam, yeah. I've been doing it for six months, yeah. Okay. We're all putting the threat level because that door's unlocked. Chris, Chris, we got a security stand at the old hold here. I'm putting us on red until Chris stops messing with the lights. Like honestly, like he's cool, but like sometimes he'll just like open doors like really quickly and not like tell me he's doing it. I mean, I can't be at both of the doors. That's actually necessary. What's up, Red? Why are you so interested? I'm just, I'm just curious what happened. I, just, I wouldn't worry about it. Well, there's green, which is like pretty much there's no threat, and then there's yellow, orange, red, and double red. That's like the top like threat level that you could possibly be, like in the office. There's like a what? new trend where like uh, hot girls are like playing with Legos. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do we know any hot girls? No, we don't have any hot girls. My name's Chris, I'm 26. I do some writing, music, officially like full time. It's only been like a month or two. I've been a fan of him and then I found out he was like, lived like 15 minutes away from me. So I was like, oh shit, he's really tall and like uh, muscular. I was like, whoa. What about the animal prank? Uh, animal prank was iffy because we didn't know how people would react to that. What would that like, what is animal animal prank? People generally like animals. I'm Evan, I'm 24 years old. I work on anything 3D related for the projects. Texturing stuff, 3D stuff, video game stuff that we're working on, the NFTs. Pretty much anything that we need, I do. If you if you hurt if you actually hurt an animal in a YouTube video, people well, are gonna freak out. Also, oh, getting an animal might be like oh, super. Expensive. We good? Well, you like, were talking about finding an animal in the woods. Yeah, like a wolf or something. That's cheap. Yeah. That's free. So I don't know. It's good to have people that are just always laughing and just going crazy. 
Because that's the complete opposite of me, pretty much, I feel like. So what you're saying is we can't do a funny idea because these SJW cucks are going to get on my case <laughs> for, yeah. for hurting a dog. Okay. Exactly, Sam. Dude. Yeah. Fucking retarded. It's fucking stupid. It's just a dog. I hate these. I hate these cucks so much. Uh, Things to spend more on. Podcast, rap gear. Uh, what's rap gear. Rap gear is just like clothing for rap videos. Like Joey's like swagged out right now. Yeah. I want Joey, wear. your fit is crazy. Bro. Well, your fit is crazy. It's like a tax right off. So. Uh, one man, aka Joey, J O E Y Y. Age, uh, I'm 25. <clears throat> and what I do, I'm a rapper. Damn, this shit hella back. Sheesh. Like, I've been doing the rap shit for a grip, and he had, like, seen much. I feel like I'm on a, like, some fed shit. Like, this is crazy. Where I'm from, how I fuck with shit, it's like money talks, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, <clears throat> he's got bread, and he's, like, willing this shit out for me, you know what I'm saying? That, that propels my shit. How much are your, how much are those shoes? 400. How much is, like, your whole outfit, right? The hat was 300. Yeah. Ring, 300. Yeah. These were three thousand. Yeah. This okay. is fifteen hundred. Yeah. What, was, what were you asking me? Oh. oh yeah, just I guess other hobbies. Cup got me tripping. What more is there? You know what I'm saying? Like I like to make art and yeah. I like to buy shit. That's it. The night in blackface might be a bit much. Yeah. Can we erase that? Let's avoid the ra racial stuff yeah. for now. Yeah. Cause Biden. Yeah. Let's keep it kosher. Um. All right, so Drake Kiki replaces Nike Blackface. What about win a date with iDubs? Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of For the lady girlfriends? Oh, he's, he, got, he always has the best viral videos. Okay, show iDubs that. He always finds the funniest shit. Show him a few more, show him a few more. Uh, Little bank, but that's okay. But my bank. <laughs> yeah. 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 Fucking stupid bitch. Show him the one you were showing me before. Show him the fucking shit, the rare shit. Have you seen this iDubs? <laughs> Dude, you gotta, you gotta Yo, see this. Yo, this is so funny. I'm watching. I love you gotta see this. Yeah, yeah. What are those? <laughs> this guy's ret oh, retarded. Yo, that's goofy, that's goofy. Damn. Bro. We got collab with iDubs, that's one good thing. Fake death, I don't think. Um, that, that might be good just for money, though. Yeah, well, no, that's the problem with that is that's a one time thing. Oh. So if I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna fake my death, you can, or like, like tell my fans I have cancer or something, I can't <laughs> keep doing that. Like, you, can you, can't, you know, you can't do that more than once. <clears throat> I can't go to my fans awesome. and be like, hey, I have cancer again. Oh, this is going to be $300,000. Uh, that, that works. There is those two. Like, <laughs> one, that's a one-time thing. Twice. Danny, nobody cares that you have cancer, okay? David Dobrik, I think we can... Do you know how... Do you have any connections? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, though. To David Dobrik? Or, like, any yeah. top YouTuber that we can get. Like, do you have any way to leverage your connections to, like, help us? No? I mean, it depends. Danny do you know Mons? Danny Mullins? Danny Mullins? He's, like, a YouTuber. I fucking hate that guy. I don't think so. <laughs> do you, if you could, like... Hook us up, like I want to fight him. Danny Mullins. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know who he is. Steam. I think that goes without saying. We should be torrenting games or sharing Steam accounts. We should well, not be buying. Online, you can't really like torrent like stuff. That's we gotta like... pick a game and stick with it. Well, like, we can't. We can't be going from Valheim we, we to. Like, like, but we can't play those online. Like, no. No Steam. We gotta stop spending. We gotta stop buying fucking like, steampunk like, games. Uh, and <laughs> last thing, anyone knows anyone you can ask for money. If anyone knows any rich Bitcoiners, cool. Julian's family is gonna ask his family. I Dubs, we're gonna ask him when the camera's off if we have money. But yeah, anybody, anybody, if anyone knows anyone that's got money, ask please. Um, I think we covered it, guys. We don't back down. Be a fucking wolf. Facts. Okay. Yeah. That's evolution. That means evolution designed you 6,000 years to become a fucking wolf. So that's how you act. All right? Quote for the week. Think it, dream it, do it. Can we get a chant going? Think, Think it, it, dream it, it do it. it. Think, Think it, it, dream it, do it. Think 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 it, dream it, do it! Alright, does anyone want to work out? Uh, we're going to do some kind of fitness related thing. I think it might involve boxing. This is gonna look so cool on you. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. The internet's gonna go crazy when they see this. It's gonna be viral. Huh? That's it! That's really real. That's really that's really actual Korean. Can you believe that? It sounds like Star Wars. It sounds like I made it up. <laughs> if I was a civilization, I would have thought of something better. Uh, day one was very rough with Sam. 
changing the oil in his car, going to Chick-fil-A, meeting his team of like 10 plus people, and uh, boxing. Hit me in the head, you fucking coward. Come on. It was scary when we started boxing and he said shit like, hit me, hit me. Go, hit me now. Because I feel like it's one of those things where um, it gives him permission to go crazy if I, if I do hit him in the head. I think it's always a little bit emasculating when you're boxing someone who has more boxing experience than you. No, Mr. Igod. You hurt me. You hurt me, Igod. Oh, Mr. Igod is too loud. And I know Sam was doing a bit of a, a gag, you know, to have everyone there sort of chanting things. It's like a very exciting way to sort of start the documentary. Think it, dream it, do it. 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 It feel, I guess it feels more like a cult <laughs> when they're doing this chanting and everything. And, uh, you know, Sam gets to be the leader of the cult. If you can think it, if you can dream it, you can do it. Around 2008, Sam started regularly uploading comedy videos predominantly featuring himself alongside his friends Nick Rochefort and Charles Carroll, a comedy troupe called... What's the one problem right now? It's not gonna be around in 2070. The elderly and the disabled. Cause we're just gonna kill them! The videos gained a large cult following on YouTube. The comedy style clearly pulled inspiration from absurdist Adult Swim shows like Tim and Eric Austin Show. So naturally, after MDE had established a following online, Adult Swim picked them up to create a cable television show. Million Dollar Extreme presents World Peace. You're gonna be famous! Oh my god! Why are you up there? I'm being a monkey. World Peace was exactly the type of thing you'd expect to see on Adult Swim. Uh, uh, and the show was pretty good. Take a bite? It's clean. I'm, I'm full. I'm so full. But good things, especially good things as divisive as MDE, aren't meant to last. And World Peace lasted about halfway through its first season before it started to get heavily criticized by the media. For such a big sound coming out of such a small person, it's so crazy. Former Adult Swim collaborators such as Brett Gelman and Tim Heidecker took public stances against the show. And after a heated interview with BuzzFeed writer Joe Bernstein... You write the mental equivalent of popcorn. How am I supposed to have any respect for you when you're being such a pussy right now? I, I just have a trouble hearing you guys. <laughs> The media smearing became too much for Time Warner to handle, and World Peace was canceled. Adult Swim has decided to part ways with an alt-right affiliated show. This show is called Million Dollar Extreme, and I don't understand, like, the appeal to it, but apparently it did relatively well on Adult Swim. World Peace is the culmination of um, the 10 years of our uh, Me, Nick, Charles efforts. I'm probably not the one to give you the unbiased reason why it ended. It's not like there was a lack of quality or funniness to it, even though I'm sure some people say, well, it's not really for me. Well, fuck you. Sam and many of his accomplices were blacklisted from Hollywood. The MDE fan base was devastated, and Sam quickly returned back to his internet roots as a solo, self-sustained entertainer. World Peace was a show that pushed a lot of boundaries that are typically not pushed by television shows, something that has always been criticized by the media from South Park to Always Sunny in Philadelphia. But because of the way Sam and even the show itself refused to allow the general public in on the overarching joke, a dogpile from these groups was to be expected, and even seemed to be welcomed by Sam and the show's fans. Did World Peace deserve to get canceled? Maybe. But was it inevitable? Yeah. Hi, right, Nick. Did you meet you, Ian? Sam's coming by? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm cool. like, I've been rusty. I'm fucking, I haven't been on camera in, uh, you know, a bit, so. Oh, yeah. I don't want to look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What's a flower shit stain? <laughs> Those things are rare. <laughs> oh. I can't fucking believe you sent me a picture of that thing. He's like, yeah. I was like, oh, you're bringing that fucking shit. Yeah. Yo! Hey. 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 All right. You got your thong on? What's that? Those thongs? I can't hear anything. Why? Oh, because I just this. My toy. You bought that? Yeah. Oh, good. I've had that for a month. Oh, fun. Hey, you know what they say? The seventh day God rested? 
On the eighth day, Polaris created the slingshot. <laughs> this house is insane, too. <laughs> It was like fucking Architectural Digest. I, that's all I wanted. I always wanted to be my cunt Aunt Barbara. <laughs> like, I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. I taught myself. I did push-ups he, in the well, he got He got me into do, selling cars when I was terrible at it. That's why it's... <laughs> joke. Yeah, I taught him fucking everything. I taught him. It's like, when you just hate customers and don't take ups. Yeah. Uh, my name is Nick Rochert. I'm 36 years old. And uh, I'm a merchant. For the most part, I sell things, everything but weed and drugs. I met Sam in 2007, so I've known him for 14, 15 years now. You know, you know those fake, fake brands on Amazon? Every piece of this car is like, buy that. Yeah, and it looks like it was designed by a fucking Egyptian club promoter. Here's my favorite part, get the sound of this. That's safety you can count on right there. You want to drive it, Idov? Yeah, clutch in and hit that. What is the clutch? Is this the clutch? Uh oh. Hey, is this your first time driving stick? Yes. Okay. And now you can go ahead and fully take your foot off the clutch. Okay. Great. Great the middle. You want to know? Hey, you want to know the shortcut to being a master of the Polaris slingshot? Think Ferrari. So then we met, and he was like, "Oh, you do comedy," and I was like, "Yeah, I do. I do stand-up comedy." And I, I think I remember like just reading him bits that I- But sketches like all night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so we just started writing sketches. And we started writing sketches over the phone every day. Watch this! <laughs> Take two. Fun. Yeah. Driving around with Sam is always so much fun. He goes <laughs> slow and it's always very predictable. Seriously, this is- Crazy. Do you uh, do you miss uh, the show? Um, like working on it? Uh, no, 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 Nick. Listen, um, this isn't working for me anymore, and I think that we should start seeing other people. If you could make what we always make, freely, kind of like what whatever you want to do, like full free, full full reign, sure, um, but. For the most part, now, like Adult Swim, the, the majority of them are like, it's like, it's a bad scene. No, help yourself. Thirty-six dollars a bottle. Please enjoy it. <laughs> Nick, what's going on, big guy? You just tripped my wife. She can say whatever she wants, but I didn't trip your wife. I think you're right. Yeah, it wasn't fun. <laughs> it wasn't fun. It was like, oh, cool. You're gonna like do coke with like Keith Crawford, like in a room. Like I don't I'm, like I don't have a problem. Like I don't I don't have like a I don't hate my fucking girl. I'm I don't, not running from my life to the point where I need to like yeah <laughs> do coke like with like strangers. Like I, I fine. You want to do a bump at a party in, in Los Angeles? Sure. Like banging lines all night with like 18 year old fangirls or like 26 year old like wannabe interns. Like I'll, I'll pass, man. That's fucking strange to me. Like it's not. I don't think that's like super cool. It's like stand up. You know, you drink all night. Thankfully, Nick believed me in a submission, and I've learned to be happy. My face isn't pounded into the pavement. Yeah, like bullying is like super funny to me. Like uh, it's it's forbidden. That's the impetus. Is the forbidden. Stop, supposed to be What I tell you, stay out of my hallway. And bully humor is like it's stupid and it's crude and it's also not allowed. I mean, you know, anything that's not allowed to me is always going to be like, oh, 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 ooh, driving a speedboat through a slow zone. Driving drunk. Yeah, dri drunk driving in reverse again. Forbidden. You know, in like LA and uh, New York or Seattle or San Francisco, you know, Austin, the big major metros, there's so many things that like wash. Like there's a guy shooting a fucking gun. It's Tuesday. What is it, Tuesday? It's Tuesday at. <laughs> Five foot, like it's dinner time, and this guy's like, this. "No, it's not. It's handgun time." I love it. Super funny. Yeah, yeah. Uncomfortable. I think I probably learned that from Sam. Is like getting uncomfortable. Like, stop worrying about what people think. You know, it's not a big deal. It's really not that big of a deal. And I needed that in my own life. You know, like for real. <laughs> this fucking shit box. <laughs> <laughs> fucking piece of shit. What do you think, Nick? This thing fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah. I hate this fucking thing. It's... I want to fucking break it. I want to rip the fucking. I want to punch both fucking gauges out. It's like want to fucking... scratch the fucking. <laughs> it's like your car you buy at Home Depot. It's it's like a joke. It's like a. <laughs>
that's kind of why the, the, the racism stuff is, is kind of a, in some cases it's a moot point because it is, it is showing people your taint. If it's too cruel to be funny or if it's, if it's, um, if I miscalculated my racism, like if I made, if I said something that was just like not justified, then it's like the same as, it's the same as bombing with a bad joke. Cause it is, right. that's what it is. It is. I showed my taint. Nobody liked it. Now I'm a faggot. Yeah. Now I'm on now I'm on stage more ashamed than I've like ever been, and I want nobody to ever see this video. Now I always like to end these these little things about with, with a bit of racial unity because I like to bring it together and talk about racial unity. Okay, if there was one race, if there's one race, one uh, job having, bill paying race of people that's going to save humanity, what race would it be? No, ladies and gentlemen, it's the white race. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I need to, I need to fuck really bad. I need to come really bad. So, just meet me in the unisex bathroom. Thank you. But because I know it's funny, I'm gonna put it out. <laughs> because like I like living in fucking hell, and I'm gonna show you it. Like it's just like, why not? I think people think like Sam's a lunatic. Sam's I, a normal I guy to me. I think he's kind of a lunatic. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I, 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 I get it. Like I can understand why people say that. But uh, Sam's what makes been. Makes you say that, Idubs. Uh, I think your relationship makes me think that a little bit. I think a lot of the... Oh, with Danny? Yeah. Why? We'll get into it. That's, to me, that's the most, uh, that's the most solid and dependable thing, thing. is, like, has stick-to-itiveness in a relationship. She's obviously blown out. What would you suggest I do? Leave her so she kills herself? No. And then, and then for the rest of eternity, uh, you don't even know what Sam I'm Hyde's girlfriend kills herself. You saw her. If she killed herself, would it be my fault? Tell could me. Be. You think it would be? It could be. You think I did that to her? Her fucking dealer did that to her. You think I? You think I sold her what she's doing? I I, I don't know anything about it. I don't know what I thought about it. That's how it's done, boys. Get out of the cities. I saw a woman wearing a shirt, had a happy little face on it. Oh! I said, guess what, bitch? There's only two genders. Sam's been doing Hide Wars, which is just like a, a show where he rants about, you know, whatever topic I think interests him at the time. Talked to a dude who had one of these perfect waifus. Those chicks have a gasket loose universally. He also does a podcast style show where he brings a crew member on and sort of just chats with them for a couple hours. Start doing shit that turns you into someone that you like. Martial arts, and by martial arts I mean jujitsu or, or Muay Thai, um, and uh, lifting weights will do that. Sam's recently taken on more of a self-help uh, role for his fan base, sort of giving life advice or career advice to people and his audience. The stuff he talks about, you know, usually appears to be genuine. Uh, it's not something that is like an obvious joke, and uh, you know, he has some gems in there. Most important thing, in my opinion, is to get good at something, develop some type of skill, develop something that is a benefit to other people, that gives you self-confidence, that makes you a worthwhile person. But a lot of the iffy stuff that uh, he says, you, it's really hard to write off his jokes because he's never really been shy about like aligning himself with the alt-right. They, they do want to destroy whiteness. If you're going to one of these things to help them destroy whiteness, be ready to be destroyed. He's donated around $5,000 to the Daily Stormer, which is a neo-Nazi website, and uh, you don't really do that as a joke, uh, from what I understand about the world. <laughs> so with the context that Sam openly aligns himself with the alt-right and white supremacy and misogynistic stuff, uh, it's hard to write off any of the ironic stuff is just ironic. Peace, because hate is whack, dude. My race is done, you're inheriting the earth, along with some other undesirables, and that's cool, bro. Hi, before we continue with the documentary, I wanna take a few minutes to talk about irony. I wish there was a perfect way to explain to you guys why talking to Sam Hyde is frustrating. Not only to a person making a documentary about him, but as a guy who doesn't actually know Sam on a personal level. A lot of people probably refer to irony as having metaphorical layers, but irony exists in a circle. This is the circle of irony. At the top of the circle of irony, you have sincerity. 
You can't have any amount of irony without some sincerity behind it. Here's an example of a sincere thought. I don't like eating shit. People who are not being ironic say sincere things like that all the time. You might say that it's the default way to say things. The next rung on the circle of irony is just called irony. You might be familiar with this from English class, and it basically means that you kind of feel the opposite of what is being expressed. Uh, and it's basically just sarcasm. Oh yeah, I love eating shit. Great, people think I love eating shit now. Isn't that just perfect? This is the go-to boomer humor that old people thrive off of. They love sarcasm. It is a basic level of irony to the point where it's almost irrelevant to millennials and Zoomers. After irony, we have post-irony. This is where you say something in a way that makes it sound like you don't mean it when you actually do mean it. In other words, you're using irony to make a joke about how you're joking. Oh, I don't, I don't like eating shit. Oh, me? Oh, no, I don't like eating shit. I hate that. I don't like eating shit. I don't like eating delicious, creamy shit. Stop saying that about me. If you put a pile of shit in front of me, I wouldn't devour it like an animal instantly. I wouldn't be doing that. This is probably the most popular form of irony in the modern generation. They're basically parodies of memes. So you have to already know what irony is to appreciate or begin to appreciate post-ironic humor. And look, there's no more room on the circle, so we must be done. What the fuck is that? Meta-irony is where this gets fucked. This is where you're saying something sincere, but the context could imply that you're saying it ironically, yet the thing that you're saying is actually a sincere thought. If this doesn't make sense, that's because it doesn't make any sense. It's meant to confuse you. Meta-irony is placed intentionally in this circle in a way that doesn't make any sense because it is intertwined with sincerity. No, I don't like eating shit. No, I don't like eating shit. Unless. <laughs> but do I like eating shit? You don't know, do you? The fact that I brought it up in the first place is a little bit suspicious, but the concept of eating shit is so ridiculous that I have to be serious when I say I don't want to, right? Meta-irony is used effectively by people whose intention is to blur the line between sincerity and jokes. It creates a situation where in order for there to be a prerequisite of sincerity, I have to obtain the knowledge outside of the joke. You're basically just saying the consumption of shit is something that is physically possible. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> I'm retarded. <laughs> but if you're not saying anything about something when you say it, why do you even say it? People don't tend to do things for no reason. There has to be an answer here. And there are two answers. Either you're just bad at irony or you're just being sincere. This is why it's so difficult to be around Sam, try to understand him and ultimately make a documentary about him. He lives here. Sam is drenched in meta irony constantly. He intentionally doesn't make it obvious when he is or isn't joking about something. Why he does this is up for interpretation, I guess, but after seeing how much he appears to involve himself in political ideologies, it seems he prefers to use meta-irony as a shield. To say, I was just joking, is a legitimate way to exonerate yourself in moments of actual miscommunication. But it's also a perfect fallback option for when you receive criticism for a point that you are genuinely trying to make. I think eating shit is awesome. What the fuck? You like eating shit? I was just kidding. Are you stupid or something? Well, now I feel bad for being unaware of any irony going on. So in the future, I will not criticize you for anything you say. I am now invulnerable to criticism. Why did you choose to make a uh, documentary about me? Well, I'm gonna flip that question on you and say- You can't flip the, I just flipped the question on you. No, you that's can't. not how this works. This, I'm interviewing you. This is crazy. Yeah. This is the craziest interview I've ever conducted. <laughs> yeah, this is not gonna be like an ordinary interview. All right, go ahead. Uh, do you remember our first interaction? No. You don't? No. I have very bad memory though. Yeah. Was it bad? What do you think? Did I snub you or slight you or something? What, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> you, your memory's that bad? Yes. You don't remember? I do not remember. Okay. Do you remember? What was it? You remember making a pony game? Yes. There were some creators at the time who made videos about 
this fake pony project. Yeah? Yeah. Were you one of them? I was one of them. What did I do? Do you have any guesses? Did I say fuck you or something? Uh, no, you, you copyright claim the video. Really? Yes. And then you sent me an email. I mean, I don't do, I don't do most copyright claims. What, do, what, was, what was the email? The email was, I will release the copyright claim on your video if you can send me a video of yourself squatting 200 pounds below parallel. Why didn't you do that? You'd be so much stronger now if you'd done that. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Did I create an enemy with that? I mean, for, for a period. Damn, I'm I sorry, I didn't buddy. like you. I'm sorry. You're an asshole. I'm sorry, buddy, that's, that's no good. Yeah, why'd you do that to me? Uh, I don't know, I, I can't even remember what, you, the, what your video was, so maybe I, you, I was pissed off or something, I don't yeah. know. I was, trying to, I was trying to not have that ruse get blown, though. Right. So maybe that had something to do with it. <laughs> that probably did. I'm sorry, I, didn't, I don't remember that. Yeah. Damn. That's what led to this day today. Really? Okay, yeah. so are you trying to, are you gonna punk me? <laughs> You're getting punked. Really? How are you gonna, how are you gonna punk me? I'm gonna make you look like, a, like an asshole. Really? Which isn't hard to do. Is that, is that really the case? No. Okay. Part of me feels like you might be being disingenuous by saying you don't remember. I legit don't remember, 100% serious. Really? Yeah. Is it, is it because you're you know, doing so much that you just sort of forget all the bridges you burn and all the like, people you fuck with? Did I br burn a bridge with that? I could have been, but I'm, I'm a resilient person, so I, I turned that hate into a passion for filmmaking, which okay. is why I'm here. Okay. Yeah. So are you, are you like still angry with me? No, definitely not. Okay. Do yeah. you dislike me still? No, I think there's some things about you that I, I mean, that I just want to understand better. Yeah. Mostly to do with your comedy. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a list of questions that I, I can get into. Sure. All right, so before we get into the, uh, the shit, let's, uh, let's get a synopsis. What's the shit? Well, I, <laughs> I'll what get into it? it, I'll get into it. No, because this is, this is ominous. <laughs> is what it is making this? you nervous? Yeah, no, I want to know what this shit, because this, this is very strange. It feels like you're uh, trying to punk me or something. It's I'm not like... punking you. It's just questions that, uh, that me and a lot of other people that I've talked to have about you. Like, what makes you sort of a... a... Is that what the shit is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. All right. Um, let's start off with what, uh, what content are you most proud of that you've created? I don't like the I don't like the order this is going because you're you're, <clears throat> and just to be clear, just so it's not like uh, to relieve the the any sort of pressure you might don't be don't relieve the pressure. No, keep it on. Okay, okay. Let's <laughs> save it. Let's keep it in there. Uh, yeah, the the video is not meant to be a hit piece. I didn't set out to do that. I was like, no one's made like a documentary, or at least a good documentary about MDE or Sam Hyde. So like, this is a great opportunity. So of course, I'm gonna rack my autistic brain to figure out, okay, what things do, do Sam and I have in common? Well, we interacted however many years ago, maybe that's something I could bring up in the interview. I figured out what, I was, it's not nervousness about being punked, it's I wish you had been upfront about that. Because mm -hmm. I, I honestly don't like when I have like static with people. I wish you just told me like, just hit me up at the beginning. And being like, hey, we have this, there's this thing. It's no, like, but I thought it would be really good here. Okay. For, to be a reveal. Okay. Yeah, because just, I don't have anything else to connect. I just hope that you're not actually, like, if you were upset, if you actually were upset about that, I would want to, like, heal that. Right, right. No, not at all. All right. I'm so, yeah. Fair enough. I should, you should have just told me, oh, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> this water here. No, it's all good, man. It's, uh. I don't like having static with people that I actually like. I don't think Sam realizes how much. I don't care about our first interaction. It was like a little bit annoying for me at the time because I've never dealt with like a copyright claim. It was my first experience interacting with Sam. It's an interesting thing to bring up, but it wasn't meant to be like a surprise. You're pranked. It's more like, hey, here, here's an interesting bit of info that you didn't know about. A lot of your comedy is like uh, shocking, but I think I think the areas I struggle with, and I think a lot of people who want to enjoy your content kind of struggle with, mm. is they don't feel like they have permission to laugh 
at certain things because you haven't given them like enough context at the beginning mm -hmm. to indicate like, oh, this is this is all just like a gag that I'm doing or something like that. Is it is it valid for me to um, to not to just not care about that? Like, do I have to do I have to be like scrutinizing my words and be like, oh, maybe I could get more views if I really explained what I meant when I said cum dumpster? Like, can I just is that can I not give a fuck about that at all? I mean, obviously you can. Okay, good. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I'm not trying to be um, flippant or like dismissive of your question. I just uh, know it's not something I think about. Okay. No, that's fair. I mean, that's yeah. I don't want you to uh, <laughs> drum up a thing if you yeah. if you ha legitimately haven't thought of it. Yeah. Is it something that you think you should think about? No. It's not. Uh, I'm curious about your relationship with Danny. Um, has she been on drugs since she met you? She's been on drugs since before she met me. So if you're implying that I've driven her to drug use, you are incorrect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, that's what I wanted to sort of get out of the way. Good. Yeah. Glad we got that out of the way. Have you tried to get her any help? Uh, no, seeing as she's a girl, I paid $500 to shave her head and pretend to be my girlfriend. No, I haven't tried to get her any help. <laughs> Should you want me to try? Well, okay. I don't know her that well. It's probably not my business to get her off drugs. Also, I think I told her to put her hand in your pocket and pretend to be on drugs. <laughs> Shut up. You think I, are you serious that I would date a girl that has her hair shaved like that? Yes. You think I'm a fucking mental case? Yes. <laughs> no, actually, well, I've known her for a long time. And, um, this this is I, so upsetting to me right now. You think I would? I'm a fucking millionaire. You think I have a shit ass office like this? <laughs> Shut up! This is your office. Says who? You think I would fucking spill rock stars and Legos all over my office like a fucking animal, and have 20 people in <laughs> a fucking dentist's office? You know this is a converted dentist's office, right? That's why there's like paintings of like whales on the walls and shit. <sighs> Ian. You silly guy! <laughs> so you're punking me. I'm not punking you. I'm trying to make a. I'm, I was. Um, I thought it'd be funny for your fans. I thought they'd like it. The whole thing. I would never do anything. The to whole thing's a ruse. Actually, hurt you or upset you or make you look foolish. I would not do that. So, how do you know Danny? Um, art school connection. I think she's a friend of a girl I fucked in art school. Yeah, and she doesn't do drugs. No, she does hair and nails. Dan I don't know if she if she. Actually Danny's does. not on drugs. No, she's a good actress, right? Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? Uh, no. What the fuck? Also, the slingshots are rental. We did get duped by Sam. Uh, we didn't get pranked in quite the way we thought we were gonna get pranked. It's not easy to say that I'm like happy with the conclusion because I'm still wondering kind of what's what's real and what's fake legitimately. So how many of you guys live here? Um five people. Sam threw us for a loop last did he? night. Yeah. What did he do? Well, I mean, yesterday was just sort of the big reveal. Oh, it showed you? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be honest, I wish I had uh, pushed him more. Like about himself? Or yeah. Or just like this? I mean, about himself, about his comedy. Everything I said was complete bullshit. Uh, everything? Uh, except for my name. My name's real. All the XRP stuff. That was nuts. Did that, that seem like delusional? So, Does that seem like a gambling so addict? Funny. <laughs> it was so funny, dude. No, seriously, I did security for Joey Gambino. I did security for a lot of high rollers and mobsters in Lake City. Like, I swear to you, I did. He was I do, the only person not playing. I, I wasn't, like, I, I did. Why are you seeing? Then you laugh and you think, now he doesn't believe me. I, I just remember Joe. <laughs> I believe him. Man, I'm, now I can, like, finally yeah, be, right, like. not point the muzzle at anything that you don't intend to kill. Always keep your finger off the trigger and around the trigger guard unless you're ready to fire. Uh, and keep, and keep your mask on too. Joey's letting me shoot. 
Joey's letting me shoot his Glock. Don't show the serial uh, number. Aim right here. I didn't own a gun until pretty recently. Yeah. So I'm trying to I'm trying to come out here like as much as I can now. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. <Dude. laughs> <laughs> you could know me. Like you guys are funny when you're not like you're not when you're not playing characters. I don't think you realize that. I think it's like, oh it needs to be like confusing for the audience. It's like it doesn't need think, to be confusing. I don't think it was very confusing. It was pretty, pretty straightforward. Totally. Like, yeah, from my from my no, point of view, do. everything is pretty cut and dry. Yeah, for, but it's from your point of view. Well, I mean, you're coming in from you know, I mean, you don't An know outsider us. perspective. Yeah, and, and everyone is. So I don't think like yeah, they don't know shit. You know what I mean? Well, I don't know, like, I, so many fucking Sam comments are they, just... Let me tell you this, they don't know. Nobody knows anything. <laughs> Nobody knows anything about anything. <laughs> That's why it's kind of fucked up, because, like, you don't, like, after that, you don't know what's real and what's not. So, yeah. like, I'm like, damn, he thinks we're, like, totally lying. That's why I feel a little bit bad about it, is because like there are certain things where it's like oh, yeah. yeah, but we kind of screwed ourselves on that. Like I was like, I kind of want to stop this because this whole Danny thing is like really upsetting to me. This is really fucked up of Sam to do. It. Like this is his girlfriend of like two well, she's years a piece or whatever. Of shit, so what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. What the fuck is that? Oh yeah. So like she even she like shaved her head for the thing too. Like that's why she looked all like had that crazy haircut and yeah. stuff too. Yeah. Like, it know. was just for like nah, that was real. layers. That was real. Layers no, her hair is really like that. It is what it is. And who knows what it is, so that's... God. Did you do like the yeah, convenient. These glasses are $3,000. Whoa. That was insane. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Why'd you give me this fucking thing? I thought it was airsoft. I'm never doing that again in my life. Holy shit. <laughs> Sam didn't show up to shoot guns with us for like two hours, and then when he finally showed up, he was very distant. <laughs> when we talk to you again, one on one. About what? Uh, all sorts of stuff. Why? Uh, felt like yesterday was like a bit incomplete. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff. We left shortly after that. For the rest of the week, Sam wasn't willing to meet up one-on-one. -on -one. He kept coming up with different excuses like, you know, he was too busy or that his back hurt. And uh, this continued for the remaining five days that I was in Rhode Island. Until eventually he had us meet outside of his real office, which he didn't want on camera, to give me something. This is a thank you from us to commemorate our experience together. And uh, as a gesture of goodwill, you're gonna want to see this, guys, at home. Wow, so YouTuber this, kings. Yes, man, the YouTuber kings. Hang it somewhere private. Or you can display it for people and just kind of filter out anyone who doesn't like art. Yeah, yeah, well, thank you very That's much, all. guys. I appreciate it. Luckily, we were able to get Sam to stick around with the rest of the group to have a chat around a fire, but I wasn't able to talk to Sam one-on-one -on -one after that. I think once Sam had revealed all the gaslighting stuff to me, he figured there wasn't really much of a reason to continue to cooperate because he had provided his entertainment. So why continue? Whoa, whoa, there was, there was, there was like, I, I swear to God. A lot of the most insightful stuff that we got was with Sam's crew after they had let their walls down. They, they all spoke very candidly with us. Uh, and it would have been nice if Sam gave us a similar level of respect. We were like, what's the fun, what's the thing we could do to like make the funniest mm -hmm. thing? This idea of confusing people and never being genuine or only being genuine when you think it's obvious <laughs> right. is uh, a great game to play. 
when the most important thing to you is never showing your taint to people. <laughs> you can feel like a winner in a game that only you are playing. I would punch Trump. Oh my God, I would love to punch Trump. Can you imagine that? You hate immigrants? Boom. I would have been more stoked with the prank if he had allowed us to take a candid look at his life afterwards, but he shut us out. I, I don't know what his day-to-day -day life is really like. I don't know even surface level details about how he does things or, you know, if he's even in a relationship. I, it would be interesting to know, but we just don't know. As far as who is Sam and what is he about, um, it seems like he really likes comedy, uh, even if that means being an asshole to people and not letting his wall down. I don't think that that serves to benefit him in any way, but if that's a game that he wants to play, fair enough. Uh, all I can continue to do is read between the lines and assume that there's some truth in there somewhere. Mr. Hyde, I'd like to know what message is it you'd like us to take away from that exactly? I don't know, man. I guess that's up to you. I don't know. It's nothing. It's just a bunch of crap. Do you enjoy owning rare artifacts? Or maybe you enjoy owning things that commemorate a specific video release. Well, I have good news for you. We have this artifact that you can purchase today. It was gonna be difficult to monetize this video any other way, so uh, I really do appreciate your support. It is a good design. Uh, the artist uh, really worked hard on it, and it honestly encapsulates the, the part of the documentary that I enjoy the most, which is the, the goof tab, the goof-tacular kind of elements. And uh, place your order today, because we're, we're gonna stop production. Uh, the shirt's gonna exist for, I don't know, a month, a couple of months, uh, but then it's just gonna be done after that. So, you know, you snooze, you lose. It, it also just really helps support future projects. And they're coming. And it won't take a year. It will not take a year for another project to come out. Just saying. <laughs>